This is the system landscape of this demo. This video shows the procedures from 1 to 3 shown above. The step 1 procedure is creating the RFC destination to the analyzed system, in this case the system named CUP, that is ECC 6.0 system. This analyzed system has customer objects should be checked by ATC. Basis release of this system, 7.01, has no function of ATC, besides it has no check variant to do S4 HANA readiness check. That's why Basis 7.51 system is executing ATC of S4 HANA readiness check for the analyzed system by using RFC. And this part is the step 2 procedure above. The final step is just checking the result of ATC. The result shows objects that are existing in the remote analyzed system, and would be problematic during S4 HANA migration. Through this video, you would be able to understand how to execute S4 HANA readiness check by ATC for the remote analyzed system, and how many and which objects would be problematic during the migration to S4 HANA. Let's check how to do it. At first, go to the transaction SM59, in order to check the RFC destination used by ATC. RFC destination used by ATC in this demo is already existing. Its name is demo underscore ATC underscore cup. Logon information, client, user, and password, must be input. The user here should be the dialog user to log on to the target system. Test this RFC connection. Let's check the remote logon too. RFC connection is fine, so let's go to the transaction ATC. At first in the transaction ATC, check the system role. This radio button must be set to ATC checks by object providers only. Then, go to the section Object Providers. In the section of Object Providers, go to System Groups. And then create the new system group. Next, go to RFC Object Providers. Here, create the new entry, then set the system group and RFC destination which were created before. Now the preparation is finished. 
so let's schedule the analysis. To schedule the analysis, push the create button and enter the series name. In this part, set general options for this analysis. To get the detail explanation of each option, push F1 key with placing the cursor on the option you want to know, then the help window will show up. In this part, select the check variant of code inspector. If you want to check the remote system via RFC about the readiness check of S4 HANA migration, you should select S4HANA Readiness Remote here. Here, select the object provider that was created just a little while ago. If you want to filter the object that should be analyzed, you can use this part to select specific objects by using several selection criteria. In this example, I would like to select objects that belong to the package named Z Demo Package. Summary. This analysis setting collects only objects belong to the package Z demo package from the system specified in the object provider cup. And the items should be checked against those objects are defined in the check variant S4 HANA readiness remote. Save this setting. This is the created analysis configuration. Let's schedule this analysis by selecting its row, and then pushing the button schedule. Here, you can set the retention period of result, the number of parallel processes and so on. After selecting suitable options, push the button execute in background to start scheduling. The output device is not selected in this example. In this example, scheduling it immediately and not as a periodic job. The job is scheduled successfully. To check the status of job, Double click on monitor and control runs. Push the execute button. Here, you can check the status of analysis job. The job I've triggered just a little while ago is still running. By pushing the refresh button, you can update the status. Push the button phases, then you can see the detail status of each phase. In this case, Push the refresh button in the window below, to update the status. Let's check what kind of processes are working at this time, in the transaction SM50.
At this time, one background process and around four dialogue processes were working in the system, to create the result of ATC. Around 10 minutes later. Finally, all processes were finished, and it is possible to show the result. To show the result, push the result button. This is the result of S4 HANA readiness check by ATC. Let's check this warning. It seems that several check has failed. To check these failures, push this failures button. It seems that the system cannot find the program named SAPLZ demo underscore FG01. This would be happened because the object directory in the remote system has the entry for the function group Z demo underscore FG01, but this function group itself does not exist in the remote system. Okay, then let's check the result of ATC. To show the detail information, it is necessary to double click on the row that you want to see. Then, the window below shows the detail information like this. By clicking on the link display object, you are navigated to the source code in question. You can also go to the source code in question by clicking on the object name in the window above. Let's check the another problem. To show the detail information and the relevant note number with the problem, it is necessary to double click on each item. It is little bit cumbersome, isn't it? By the way, we are watching this source code in the remote system. Let's check the system information whether this is really the remote system or not. As you can see, the component version is ECC 6.0, and the system ID of instance and database is CUP. So it really is the remote analyzed system. Let's check more. By the way, you can see the explanation of each check by clicking on the check title, 
or check message like this. You can change the view to statistics view by pushing on this button. This is the statistics view. You can filter objects by clicking on the check item in the top window, and other operations are same with before. This is the filter function. You can filter the objects shown in the list like this. Let's compare the result of S4 HANA readiness check by ATC with the one of Code Inspector. The video below is the result by Code Inspector, analyzed system is same. I prefer the result of Code Inspector, because it is possible to confirm the reason of problem and the relevant SAP note in the same table, without double click like in the result of ATC. By the way, there is another way to reach the result of ATC. You can also check the result of ATC via Manage Results. Change the period in days, if necessary. Displaying the result via Manage Results section shows the repository browser on the left-hand side. In Manage Results, you can delete, copy and activate result by using these buttons. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.